Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Train Sim World 2020. My name is Yo Adrian and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand newly released Caltrain MP36 PH-3C Baby Bullet DLC. A um, little bit of a background of this, I did a stream hyping this up on Tuesday and I'm going to go into more detail about that in the video about what I said in the stream about this DLC because this was technically supposed to be a stream today. But I'm going to go into more detail about that later on in the video. But today we're going to be doing the first scenario in the um, DLC, which is called Early Riser. It's about half an hour. And basically we just prepare the train for departure, get it fueled up, and ready for a morning bullet service from San Jose. So let's go ahead and hop in the scenario here, and let's go ahead and see what this DLC is all about. Caltrain has many express services on their timetable called Baby Bullet. Prepare this train for a Baby Bullet service. Alright, so as you can see here, we got multiple F40 PHs and multiple, or just one MP36 it looks like. Interesting, let's go ahead and climb in the locomotive seat here. Open that door. There we go. Kind of Spider-Man up there. <laughs> but here's a look at the interior of the MP36, guys. It's so much nicer than Train Sim 2020's, um, which we'll call it interior. It's so much nicer. Let's go ahead and hit, hit in the, the sit in the engineer seat here. And up here is where everything is, so your generator field, your control and fuel pump, and your engine run is all up there. Hold the engine start button for, and start until the diesel in, engine... Pff, God, I can't talk today. Hold the engine start button and start until the diesel engine is running. done set the engine isolation to run which is up here there we go HEP goes off because we don't need it HEP press the HEP start stop button set it to run which is right there and then now we got to turn it back on cutout valve goes to passenger which is down here there we go you're gonna insert the reverser handle we're going to set you to forward, and then automatic brakes go to release here. We'll turn on these, oh, the headlights are already on. So let's go ahead and put on the bell. And what's really nice about this is that once you turn on the bell, your ditch lights will actually flash. So that's one of the nice things about this uh, DLC is where the F40s were kind of lacking, and the uh, bud high level cars. Windows are opened, nice, 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 here we go. There we go, just took a little bit long. It took a, took a while for us to get started here. Well, here's a look at the cab coaches we got going on today. They look absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to actually show you guys what the interior of them look like. But what's kind of cool is they actually have cameras up in here. You got a whole bunch of stuff that you can do up in here. A TMS test, which is like the uh, Metro things that they got. It doesn't actually work in this uh, scenario and stuff, so I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it's okay. So we're heading to the CMOS South Storage Lead. Heading out over there. But yeah, it's a very nice DLC. I already took a look at it kind of before I did this video. Just kind of get like the gist of where buttons are and stuff like that. So I'm not frantically looking for them. But it's very nice. You got a camera right there as well. You got a camera, inward facing camera right there. Got a nice little Caltrain first aid kit which I thought was cool. And then you got some buttons and stuff on the conductor side. He's got his own light too which is awesome. And stuff like that, so. But yeah, we're coming up here to the lead. We're going to have to stop over here at the lead. But yeah, here's a look at the uh, MP36, guys. It looks phenomenal. I do enjoy, I love the look of it. It looks very phenomenal. Had to get a little thumbnail there for a screenshot. But yeah, it's really nice. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they can actually make a Metro version here soon. But yeah, going along with what I was saying, um, this was technically supposed to be a stream. But, I um, woke up and I wasn't feeling too well. I woke up with a, a major, major headache for some reason. I, I guess you can call it like a migraine. But I woke up with a migraine and I just was not feeling a stream. So we're just going to do a video today. 
and possibly do a stream tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday. But we're going to do this as a stream tomorrow. So I'm going to try to have more GTA 5 videos out as well. Possibly. Not sure what I'm doing yet. But I'm going to try to have some more GTA 5 videos planned out as well for the next couple days. So we kind of have some like uh, leverage in between for the most part. Because I don't want to do like this and the next thing you know there's another Caltrain stream of this. So I just want to have some of the leverage and stuff like that. I think that's what you'd call it. But yeah, they're really putting us out here because I can't even see the signal. I know it says stop, but they're really putting us out here to make us pass the signal. There we go. Two yards more, of course. Forgot, Cal I forgot this is so freaking picky that they want it in two yards. They don't want it, you know. But then you pass the stop signal and then everyone gets mad. There we go. Set the switches to the right track. Okay, well, it looks like we got to get out for this. But either you should get a look at the uh, nice gallery cars we got going on over here. The Bombardier high le by level cars. They look super they look super fancy. I really do like the look of them. I'll actually show off the interior here in a second once we're done over here flipping the switch over here. But now I see what why they wanted us gone fully out there. So we'll set it to the right. And then we got to go set this one to the right. But yeah, it's very nice. I forgot to turn the marker lights on, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the cars here, show off the cars for the most part. This is going to be like your uh, bike car and everything. You got your engineer over here. Here's a look at the uh, interior for the uh, cab car. Looks very nice, the uh, cab. And if one thing I don't understand is you can actually turn one marker light on, which I really don't understand that whole process where you could just turn one on. That doesn't make any like any like a sense to me. But here we are. I don't think we can actually shut these doors, can we? We'll have to lock them on our way back out. But that looks like the bike car. And then we come in over here. Look at that. Full blown seating. We got some more seats over here. And we got some seats up here. Looks nice. Very, very nice. I don't think we can actually close the door from here. No, you can't. No, it's not like the uh, bo it's not like the other uh, by levels where you can. This one you can't. Oh well. Oh well. So we'll go ahead and hop in the engine back or hop back in the engine over here. One thing I did notice is that it does take a while for the uh, doors to actually close. That's one of the things I did actually notice about this DLC. Let's go ahead and come back here on the shove here. I did forget to turn the bell off, so I do apologize for that. We should be going all the way to the Seamoth refueling spot. I do apologize for the bell. That was my mistake. I forgot I had even... I forgot I even had it on. I just realized there was like strobe lights in the cab, but I don't remember, recall how to actually turn them on, so. We're going to be out back here in the locomotive again, because that bell is actually getting real annoying. We'll have to go ahead and shut that off here in a second. Or not in a second, but once we get to the seam off refueling, we'll go ahead and shut the bell off. Go ahead and set you back down to notch one. And here we go. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's a nice looking DLC. Dovetail Games did an amazing job on this. I was I was pumped for this whenever they first announced it. Because now we actually have a full Caltrain set in. Or full Caltrain sets in this game. Now the only thing they need is a switcher. Which I know probably won't be a thing. But once they get that switcher, that'd be awesome. And stuff. So I'm really happy at that. But we're going to stop at the refueling plant here. And probably going to have to stop at the locomotive. We're not going to be able to stop at the cab car because the cab car don't carry fuel. But it's very nice. Like the Seamoth location. Then you got your Caltrain uh, 
non-express train going over there and stuff like that so it's it is nice it is very very nice uh that's where they want us to stop at but i don't understand where the fuel point is at that's not where the fuel thing is at is it Oh, uh, probably because we have to sw switch the track. That makes sense. Oh, because it's right there. I got gotcha. you. Let me actually pull forward a few hundred feet. Just because we kind of screwed that up a little bit. We, we uh, overshot it. I was looking back there for it. I didn't realize that it was like up close and personal over here. So, Oh, that's pretty cool though. We actually get to... Uh, Okay, so it ain't gonna let me do this then. Alright, well. Set the brakes to full service. There we go. Now refuel the locomotive, hook up the hose to the fuel tank, and wait for the train to be fully fueled. Only take a couple minutes. Okay. Fuel cap's gone. Connect the fuel hose, which I don't know if it'll even reach. Yeah, no, it ain't gonna reach. Okay. Alright, so we finally got back up to the uh, fuel thing over here. Refuel the locomotive, hook up the hose to the fuel tank, and wait for it to be fully fueled. Alright, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I don't want to fall down here, so let's go and climb down those steps. Had to actually restart the scenario to do this. So that was always, that was a fun time for sure. Oh, no, not the cap. Need you to go. Yep, yeah, there we go. And now we just do this. Now we just wait for the locomotive to become fueled, which I think you can actually track it on here. Maybe not. I thought you could. I guess not. Merge fuel, nope. Alright. Alright, so it's now fueled, so let's go ahead, oh, that stops on its own, let's go ahead and remove that. There we go. Let's put the fuel cap back on. Return to the cab. Sit in the engineer seat, which we will do. Keep that door open, I guess. Now this train is ready for service. Drive down to San Jose to begin its morning run to San Francisco. All right, ten four. I'm assuming we're just gonna have to reverse for that one. All right, let's go ahead and just keep the, the uh, cab door open. So we want to head back down to that same spot we were at, for the most part. Let's go ahead and shut that bell off. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome Thursday so far. It's been a good one for me. I'm going to have a couple videos up tomorrow. Um, just random videos and stuff like that, so I'll be recording those possibly tonight, if not tonight, then tomorrow. But yeah, it's going to be a couple different random videos and stuff, so just stay tuned for those. Stay tuned for those, for sure. I might possibly have two uploads tonight, or today. Like I said, that's just a possibility. I'm not like 100% certain if I will or not, so don't quote me on it. Do not quote me on that one. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are enjoying the video, do make sure you hit that like button. If you guys are enjoying this DLC, do let me know down in the comments below. I will have a link down in the description below for this DLC. It is $19.99 on Steam. Of course, that is US dollars. So just letting you guys know if you guys are interested in this DLC. Um, like I said, link will be down in the description below. 
And if you guys want to, make sure you guys follow me on all the social media pages. All that stuff is in the description as well. But if you guys are looking forward to your guys' weekend, I've got like a little update video coming up uh, tomorrow as well. I'm just going to kind of be listing all the updates and stuff from last week, this week, and then possibly next week. So I'll have that up as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what I want to do it as. It might be a... Uh, probably be an American Truck Simulator, honestly. I found this new truck that I want to um, uh, show off and stuff like that. So possibly be an American Truck Sim. Let's go ahead and stop this train right here. Oh, go via. We're not stopping. I got you. So we aren't stopping now. We're actually going past it. I got you. So we're actually heading out to the main line here. But, uh, yeah. Caltrain 926. Approach. Seam off. Storage track. To the main. Uh, looks like we're going to be at a 20 mile an hour zone. So we'll stop at San Jose Deer Dawn. Oh. So we're going cab car first. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's right, because you know the cab car, I got you now. I got you now, so let's go and turn the marker lights on for this locomotive. I don't recall how to do that actually, so let me turn on a cab light here. Because we're still good on speed and stuff like that. I believe it's one of these. Gauge lights, front marker lights. There we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. So about 700 yards to go, and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, do make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button with that bell icon as well. Greatly appreciate if you guys would. We got those front marker lights working. We got those rear rear marker lights working as well. Oh, we're speeding. We are speeding, but that's all right. They don't deduct points in this game like they do in Transom 2020, which is nice. They don't actually deduct points for speeding. They just deduct points. Actually, I don't know if they even deduct points in this game. I don't think they do. Okay, so now we can go up to a 20. Both have got a restricting signal over here, so I'm not worried about a 20. But yeah, guys, I'm possibly going to do a stream tomorrow on this uh, DLC. I'm hoping that I actually have the time to do it and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that and a couple different other videos and whatnot. So stay tuned for those throughout the weekend as well. So if I do do the stream tomorrow, it'll be the stream and another video. And then just sporadic uploads throughout the weekend as well and stuff like that. So just stay tuned for all of those and everything but yeah guys that is pretty much that we're just gonna pull here into san jose and yeah we'll go ahead and take this trip back tomorrow i believe we'll start off with the cap car and then we'll head into the mp36 for the two scenarios I believe that's how we're gonna do it because that cap car one is uh 60 minutes long to about an hour and then the um other one is about half an hour so like the same thing as this one for the most part I believe so yeah that is that there's that one F40 we saw earlier for the most part there ain't no passengers on this track though that's the weird part so let's go ahead and shut that there we go we'll go ahead and turn the light off here That is a bright ass light. Good lord. So this one's probably going to be going next. From what it looks like, that one is going next. Or as far as I can tell. Alright, there we go. Just about on the platform there. Clear that signal. Cool. There we go. Let the passengers board and shut down this cab in preparation for changing cabs. Unlock that. There. Full service, I believe. Turn off those lights. So we do got the marker lights and everything, which are nice. There we go. 
let those passengers load. All right, set the cutoff to out. Automatic brake to handle off. There we go. Remove that reverser handle. There we are. That's all for now. We'll take this train to San Francisco later. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Let's go ahead and hop on out of here. Shut that door. And there we go. All right, so we got 3,370 points for a gold medal, which is awesome. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like button, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Peace.